Hey guys, what's up? It's Kareem again. I'm doing another review of a Universal Yums box. Now, I've done two already. I've actually had two more boxes come in since then. I didn't actually review for different reasons. Didn't really feel like doing those. Um, not going to get into it, but I decided to do this one because this one was a little bit more interesting than I expected. So, without further ado, here's the next one. Thailand. Now, this is one country I didn't expect to get, although I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure, you know, Thailand has good food and therefore they should have good snacks. And from what I see here, there's a good variety of things and I can't read most of it, but I'm going to go through what I think it is, starting with this one. It says tempura on it. It says chicken larb flavor. I don't know what larb is. I've heard of it, but it looks like some kind of a crispy snack. Tempura seaweed. So, interested in that. We got this one, which looks like, uh, oh, it's uh, coconut chips. Chocolate flavored coconut chips. That sounds very Thai, I guess. Next, we have... How original. Party. Fried wheat snack, sweet and sour flavor. They look like almost like Chex Mix. Okay. Next we have... <laughs> this is up my alley. Cookies and cream. I don't know what the writing on here is. It says Wufo. Wufo. I don't know. But can't wait to try that one. Next we have salads. It's called salads. Is that what I'm reading? It's this, it's like a sausage flavored sweet chili snack. Now a lot of times you look at these ingredients, you have to make sure that there's no like ingredients that you can't eat. In this case, I'm looking for anything that might be pork based. A lot of times they have uh, flavorings that resemble the ingredient in question but they don't actually make it from that ingredient and as far as i can tell there's nothing that's uh haram in this so i'm gonna eat this all right next we have hmm this is from thailand swizz it's like a wafer snack dutch cheese flavored dutch cheese Swizz from Thailand. Makes perfect sense. Okay, next we have... Hmm. Potato ring. This one and this one actually are kind of the same concept. Potato rings. I've seen this before in other places, but... This one's sausage flavor. This one's chicken hot and spicy flavor. Yeah. So they're both similar, I guess. All right, next we have another wafer snack. Yo friend. That's exciting, yo friend. Which is also similar to the Swiss wafer snack. Okay. So we're seeing a lot of commonalities here. And then we got the big roll grilled seaweed roll. Grilled seaweed roll. How appetizing. All right. Next, we got this very small package of Choco Plus. Look how thin that is. There's two cookies in it. I think they're cookies. Yeah, they're cookies. All right, I guess a bite for me and a bite for Shireen. That looks good. Next, we got there's some hidden yums in this one, so I'm going to open it and see. They don't tell you what it is until you open it. Mm-hmm. Looks like hard candy. I can't read the writing, so I can't tell you what I think this is. This one has a cow in it, so I'm going to assume it's something dairy related. But you can see these are two different things. And uh, let's see, is there anything else? Nope, these are the only two varieties in here. So let's get started. I'm going to try the one that has the cow on it. 
All right. It's hard. Well, hold on. No, it's not hard. You can actually squeeze it. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. That's why this is exciting. Cheers. It's chewy. It's milky. It's good, but it doesn't really uh, tickle my flavor buds, taste buds. Let's try this one. Okay. This was actually hard candy. Looks like Hall's. You know, the cough suppressants. All right. I'm just going to dig into this one, even though I haven't chewed this one out. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That one's like a little minty. Good contrast with the other one that I just ate. Actually, you get them together, it tastes really good. I like that. Okay. I like both of those. But I think we can only go up from here. So let's try... Hmm. I'm going to save this for last because I'm not really digging this one. Let's try this one first. Oh, wow. It's got almost like a shrimp flavor aroma to it. Is shrimp an ingredient in here? Uh-huh. Yep. May contain traces of egg, shellfish, fish, peanuts, tree nuts. It's certified halal on this, by the way. I didn't realize that they um, had a strong enough Muslim presence to have that. Oh, that's good. Mmm. I like that a lot. Look at that. Mm -mm. It's not super fragile. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. Mm, I like that. All right, let's put that back in here. A little sweeter than spicy. I've had like three sweet things in a row. I need something more savory. Let's see what we got. All right, let's try the tempura seaweed. Oh my goodness. This package is super high quality and durable. I found a way to open it. This is still kind of hard to open. One second. Ah, all right. Wow. Look at that. Like deep fried seaweed chips. Mmm. <laughs> okay, wow. I'm getting a, a hint of lemon or citrus in it. And it does have citric acid, so that makes sense. There's palm oil. I can pick that up as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty uh, standard for what I expected. I like it. I'm going to take one more. Next. We'll go back to something sweet. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to the Dutch cheese. Let's try this one. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I shouldn't be opening all of these unless I plan on eating them within a reasonable time, but I got to do my review, I guess. Oh, that's weird. So this... Usually these wafer... Snacks come in like segmented or smaller pieces that are connected to each other. This is one whole wafer cookie for one person, I'm assuming, just to eat at one time. That's ridiculous. Now when I open it and I break it, it's going to make a mess. But cheers. Hmm. 
It seems to have a weird orange hue to it. I mean, I know it's not real, uh, like, cheese or anything, but it doesn't look appetizing. And honestly, it doesn't really taste like anything. I'm kind of disappointed. Not bad, but not great either. Okay. Try this one. This ring of potatoes, I'm assuming. Oh man. I gotta tell you, the packaging on these snacks is very impressive. It's very high quality, I feel like. This is what they look like. Look like. It looks like some kind of toy I played with when I was a kid, but it's edible. Oh man. Hmm. Hmm. They really encourage you to eat a bunch at once. I don't think you can just do one at a time. You're not really going to get a lot of uh, satisfaction from that. Hmm. I like that. Kind of tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> All right. Another sweet item. I think there's more sweet than savory stuff in here. Ooh, that was uh, a little bit more effortless and that was not graceful so hmm mm. okay coconut chips wow again this is one of those things that you should eat in a bunches to get the maximum flavor Mm -mm -mm. This is real coconut. Wow. Wow. That's really good. Okay. Next. The other potato ring. The spicy, hot and spicy chicken. Oh goodness. These rings are whiter than the other one. Mm. Mm. Better than the sausage flavored one. <laughs> Man, there ain't a lot in here. I gotta save some for Shereen. I'll put that back. Okay, we got four more things left. Ah, four more things left. I was saying rings. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hmm. Three of the four are sweet. One of them is savory, which is the last uh, tempura snack. So I'll wait for that one at the end. So I'm gonna do three sweet things in a row. We'll start off with this. Ooh, that one popped. This cookie. Uh, crunchy cookies with caramel and chocolate. Seems pretty straightforward. Mm. Barely get the caramel. It's pretty bland, honestly. If you didn't tell me this was from Thailand, I wouldn't know. Okay. Next, we'll do the final wafer snack. This, according to the picture, looks like it comes in different pieces, as you can see. So I'm going to attempt that. Okay. It looks as though... These are so damn hard to open. It comes in one whole piece again. I have to break it with my own... Oh, it's so annoying. All right. This is worse than the other one. Man, Thailand does not know how to make these wafer snacks. If you want a good one, go to like a, a market, like an Arab market or Middle Eastern market. They get the ones from Italy. Those are really good. 
Mm, especially the hazelnut ones. These suck. All right. Cookies and cream. I did it, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's see. Wow, this... Um, not a good first impression here. These are already broken out of the bag. All right, well, I'll try the cookie part. Hmm. Yeah, this tastes like the dollar store brand Oreo crap, you know. Not really a fan. I mean, it's good, but it's not like mind blowing. All right, making a huge mess here. Last but not least, fried seaweed. Hmm. Okay. Oh man. Wow. A whole fried seaweed roll. That one piece that I just ate was very strong. Oh, wow. I think there's wasabi in here. Ooh. Not a fan of wasabi. I don't see wasabi flavoring in it, but it does taste like wasabi. It's very strong and pungent. Not a fan of this one. Oh, wow. It actually hits you in the back of your throat, too. Yeah. Not my favorite. This was a great box, though, for, you know, as far as uniqueness is concerned. But I didn't think a lot of the stuff here was extremely flavorful or satisfying. But I don't regret it. It's good to try new things. Otherwise, how are you going to know if you like it or not? So, all right, guys. Thank you for your uh, attention. I hope this was helpful. And if you ever decide to get Universal Yums, you know, maybe you can decide what you want from this uh, based on the, the video. And, um, you know, I'm not getting paid for this. It's doing it out of my, um, you know, on my own time, you know, just because I'm really, you know, I'm passionate about eating random snacks. But uh, otherwise, have a good night.